All right, y'all, what's going on? Back again with another video. Back again with another video. Back, back, back again with another video. So when you see this face, you guys already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So today's video is going to be something like it was on yesterday's video. Um, it's going to be talking about Mew, and it's going to be talking about Quest. But we're actually going to be digging deeper because uh, Pokemon Go actually sent another link. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to dive right into that um, shortly. But uh, like I said, it's going to be just like, it's going to be somewhat like uh, pertaining to yesterday's video. But like I said, we're just going to dive a little bit deeper today since they sent that link. So anyway, we're not going to dive into it now, but we're going to dive into it right now. Let's go. Alright guys, so as you can see, the link from Pokemon Go. Now, as you can see, it says the Pokemon Go 0.97.2 APK Mine, new encounters, new badges, mythical Pokemon, and a whole lot of quests. So like I said in the intro of this video, um, we're going to dig deeper into what I basically was talking about in yesterday's video. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you go check that out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and smack a like on that video. And, uh, or you could just watch this video and, uh, cause I'm basically going to be giving, uh, a little more deeper information, uh, on this topic. So, guys, let's go. And make sure you stay tuned. Alright guys, so basically here's his trainers. The Go Hub's data mine of the new Pokemon Go 0.97.2 APK is complete. The new update has brought the entire quest code back based back to the Pokemon Go's release branch. Together with a few new assets, let's dive right in. Now, here it says a special Mew encounter. Now this is what we've all been waiting for since Gen 1 has been dropped. We've collected every other Pokemon, even with the, um, the EX Raid, we all, well, some of us, or at least most of us, have actually caught Mewtwo. But now we're trying to strive to get Mew. So now, here it says a special Mew encounter. According to the code base, a special Mew encounter will be available for trainers who work to complete, who work hard to complete their special research quest chain. Now, culminating with a special Mew encounter badge whose icon we're not able to find the APK yet. Now, maybe that's just their way of like keeping us in the dark, or maybe it really is in the game. Who knows? But that's why we're gonna get into this. Uh, but as you can see, in order to actually get the special Mew encounter. It's only for trainers who work hard, so you gotta work hard if you're trying to get Mew. Um, just like you was trying to get Mewtwo in the EX Raid, you kept raiding until you got that EX Raid pass. And then now you finally got Mewtwo, hopefully. Now, uh, it is quite possible that the badge will be awarded post-mortem in a future version, but for now, there is no visual indication that you encountered Mew, only behind the scenes code tracker. Alright. So basically, this is what's in the APK code now. It's Mew Encounter, Niantic, Holo Holo, Encounter, Mew, Badge underscore Challenge underscore Quest, Badge underscore Mew underscore Encounter. Hand in hand with the above mentioned badge, there are two new flags that separate Legendary from Mythical Pokemon. Because a lot of people get those two mixed up, Legendary and Mythical. So we're going to dive into this APK. Is Legendary or Mythical? Is Legendary is mythical so we might actually see both in this new research uh, that professor willow has sent to us so we can help him out with so basically here it says we are not 100 sure if mew will be available on day one that's what everybody wants because i know that's what i want but it may not be available you know on day one but we mew is basically in the apk code so you never know it might actually be on day one but a lot of times you know how Niantic does. <laughs> you know how Pokemon Go Hub does. You know how Nintendo does. Like, they want to just keep us in, in the dark. Kind of like what they did with Ditto. When they released Ditto, they didn't let us know anything. And then one day we just clicked on like a Magikarp or something like that. And we ended up getting Ditto. But anyway, um, now it says here, you can join in on the race on our forums, the quest for Mew. Um, the Quest requirements and types new badges. New quest badges have appeared in the game. We still don't have the requirements for these, but we know they are tied to the number of completed quests. 
So basically we're getting new badges. So that's giving us something more to do. And that's actually cool because instead of just collecting Pokemon, catching Pokemon, you know, uh, this is not PvP or trading, but it's still something new for us to do. So now maybe in the future we'll probably get PvP and trading for all of those who are actually waiting for it. Anyhow, getting back to quests. Uh, so these here, it says we also found traces of quest requirements or preconditions in, the, in this APK. We are quite certain that there will be a number of salty players, but yes, some quests are only unlocked after you reach a particular level, metal, and Pokemon Go. So you have to actually reach a certain um, level of um, of the metal uh, in order to um, basically unlock new quests. So this is actually a ton of hype. I don't know if it's a ton of hype for you guys, but it's a ton of hype for me because it gives us like a new look. And with the weather about to start getting warm, it actually gives us something new to do. Um, so yeah, uh, it's this quest precondition type. Now let's jump right into this APK. Quest underscore precondition underscore unset. Quest underscore precondition underscore quest. Quest underscore precondition underscore level. Quest underscore precondition underscore metal. Operator equals greater underscore than less underscore than now a full list of quest types is also in the apk hinting at which quests will be available through the new field and special research mechanisms there are 16 different types of quests in the game right now so that will actually give us a lot of time to actually you know give us something new to actually do you know up until i don't know whenever the next thing comes out like a lot of people still waiting for the next legendary when uh, Lugia goes away on April 2nd so all of this is like basically rolled into one so we have that then we also have we still got the um, April 15th edition that's why I say if you haven't watched my video from yesterday go back and watch that but yeah we're supposed to be getting um, on April 15th we're supposed to be getting the uh, new community day which features uh, Marie hopefully we get the shiny variant nine times out of ten we will because we've seen shiny Pikachu shiny Dratini and now we see shiny Bulbasaur, and that's the fourth edition, which is be able to see shiny Marie. Now, with that being said, we're gonna get into this APK: quest underscore multi underscore part, quest underscore catch underscore Pokemon, quest underscore spin underscore Pokestop, quest underscore hatch underscore egg, quest underscore complete underscore gem underscore battle, quest underscore complete underscore raid underscore battle, quest underscore complete underscore quest. Quest underscore transfer underscore Pokemon. Quest underscore favorite underscore Pokemon. Quest underscore autocomplete. Quest underscore use underscore berry underscore in underscore encounter. Quest underscore upgrade underscore Pokemon. Quest underscore evolve underscore Pokemon. Quest underscore land underscore throw. Quest underscore get underscore buddy underscore candy. Quest underscore badge underscore rank. Quest underscore play underscore level. So, like they said, 16. We have a lot of this to actually complete. Uh... You know, so we can actually get Mew. It might only be like a few tasks that Professor Willow want us to do in order to obtain Mew. That way we can at least be able to actually complete. And when we and when I say complete, I mean complete the Gen 1 Pokedex. Not just, you know, not having any of the regionals and you just get whatever you can that's in your area. I'm talking about the actual Pokedex. You'll actually have completed it. Now, if you spoof, you can actually spoof and get those... Um, regionals you know what I mean but like I say if you spoof that's just what you do that's how you play the game if you don't spoof if you, if you play legit that's cool too it's just however you play the game um, but yes I'm gonna be mentioning that a lot of that uh, mostly in my videos because a lot of people like I said people have problems with people spoofing I don't really see what's the big point because you're not messing with anyone's account or anything like that so but that's another thing for another video now these are basically, this is the, what the boxes look like. It says, evidently, some of these types are tied to features which are available at the specific trainer level. So the previously discovered quest level requirements do make sense. You'll be able to earn various rewards by completing these quests. Now, in order to get these boxes, you're going to have to complete at least one, uh, at least one request um, per day. At least one. Uh, in order to receive this package, uh, it says experience item stardust candy avatar underscore clothing quest under and uh, Pokemon underscore encounter. That's how you receive these items. You know, yeah, you can get it by spending Pokestops and putting your your star piece on and stuff like that. But this is a way to get new. Not to mention you get free stuff when you complete these. Um, not requests, but like 
the research. That's what I meant to say earlier. Anyhow, uh, and last but definitely not least, Professor Willow has a full range of emotions that he can exhibit up from happy and upset. I'm sorry, and unset found in 0.91.1. And it's as follows. Professor underscore Willow, character expression, expression underscore unset, happy, sympathetic, energy, pushy, impatient, and admiration. So basically, he's going to be trying to basically push us to get us to do these, this research that he wants us to do. Um, and you should just want to push yourself because, I mean, after all, you want to get me, right? So, yeah. So technically, you don't need Professor Willow to push you along. You should just be able to push yourself along so you can get Mew. If, if that is if you want Mew, like I do. Now, what else is new? A few new images and sound effects are now available in the APK, mostly related to the new quest system. Now, without sharing all the update texture, here's what's really new. And also, before I continue, I'm just so psyched because of the fact we're getting new sounds, we're getting new things, you know, the weather's going to hopefully start getting warmer pretty soon. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do, community day, we got all of this stuff to do. So, it's bringing Pokemon Go back. That's cool. So, as you can see, Professor Willow, you got the Professor's Foreground, you got the new Quest Sprite Atlas, and of course, drum roll please, bang, the new loading screen. And I've been actually hoping for it. I was just thinking about this just yesterday, when I was making my video from yesterday. We should have a new loading screen, because uh, the loading screen that we have now, currently, was from New Year's. And like, well, now we're like, what, five months in, just about? We need a new loading screen now. Especially for the re this new research thing that's going on. So, I think they change the loading screen every time we get something new. So, that makes pretty much sense. And then, at one point, I thought this was the loading screen. I would have been like, what? We should have had this one. But, since we have that one, all ends well. <laughs> so, anyway, here, and this is the professor's background. So, guys, got the professor's background, new loading screen, which I think is a ton of hype. New quest sprite, atlas, professor's foreground, and of course, Professor Willow. Um, so guys, yeah, that's basically gonna wrap this video up. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, sub, share this video wherever you share cool stuff, comment down below, smack a like on this video, make sure you are, you are crushing that notification bell so you can stay updated on my latest videos, and as always guys, stay humble, peace and love, and stay blessed, and I'm out, peace.